Hey everybody, welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host, Scott Ramph, and I'm here to usher you into the new week as well as, uh... I introduced the show a little bit differently. Uh, I just made a music from GarageBand. You can check it out on SoundCloud, blah, 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 all that annoying stuff. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about what's going on here in Missoula. This is another show that's going to be repeating it for two weeks. So you get to see me for uh, this week, and you get to see me for this week wearing the same shirt. Um, so I'm going to just talk about a little bit of things that have been happening um, in and around the city of Missoula, things that are happening within MCAT. Summer camps are done. I have a lot of stuff I'm going to be showing you as well. And uh, let's talk a little bit more about just in terms of just new stuff. Okay, many things are happening in Missoula, and this hopefully it will tide you over for the next two weeks since I'll be here twice. The uh, county uh, pro made a proclamation, uh, notes that the fire danger has been increasing to very high at the end of July. We've seen a moderate summer in the history of July, but with the summers lasting longer and fire seasons going into October months, this season may see higher fire dangers going through the lid mid to late August. Um, in addition, the National Weather Service is predicting that hot and dry weather conditions have a potential to expose Missoula County to increased likelihood of hazardous fire activity. That, in turn, could possibly overwhelm the local fire suppression resources, threatening lives and properties, the proclamation states. Uh, this, the point of this is to basically streamline any red tape for, to put fire crews and fire officials on task to put out these fires and to contain these fires. Uh, Best Cove Fire is the fire north of Missoula, approximately uh, 193 firefighters, mainly from local crews, are assigned to the lightning caused fire that started on July 23rd. The area closure remains in place in the Rattlesnake Recreational Area. The public should pay close attention to daily updates. You can go to Lolo National Forest, uh, their Facebook page. I'll talk a little bit more about that since in state news. There's a whole bunch of fires happening. Helena is the big fire that's happening in and around the state of Montana. Uh, it's the North Hills fire continues to burn in northern Helena. The fire the forest service closure includes southern gates of the mountain wilderness boundaries existing south along the York-Nelson Road to York. It also, uh, let's see, hold on a second. Just got to close this out. Okay. Anyways, okay, the, Mon the Montana Department of National Resources and Conservation Firefighters are also working to contain a 52-acre wildfire lands west of Kalispell near uh, Tornilla Creek. Beaverhead National Forest has a fire going on as well. Bitter National Forest is seeing threatening conditions. Um, the Kelly Gulch fire was sparked by lightning Tuesday, and the fire is burning in uh, steep terrain between uh, Clancy Creek and Lump Gulch south of Helena. Um, once again, I'm going to show you guys the website where you guys can find more information. Uh, they, they give uh, regular updates on the fires uh, in and around. Um, so you can go to the Facebook page at the National uh, Lolo National uh, Park, uh, Lolo, Lolo Forest Service. Um, and you can find out more information through here as well. You know, that you can see some of the photos that they have been posting on uh, their Facebook page. Uh, and here's uh, the uh, Beast Co. fire. A ridge of high pressure has been over the fire area and will remain today, resulting in terrain-driven wind conditions, warm temperatures, and poor moisture recovery. Uh, the weather is starting to now get to those summer 90-degree temperatures. Usually the weather that we've seen in the mid-July, we're seeing into late July, early August, as it is August right now. Uh, just this last week, it's basically been 90 degrees, 95, 96 degrees temperatures, which we've been very uh, fortunate to have a very uh, uh, low to moderate kind of fire season in the July and past months, but that doesn't mean that the fire season will not extend into the October months as the it seems like it's been longer. And last year was a, a, another big turning point in the state of Montana in terms of fires as well. In national news, Texas was approved for a giant section of wall to be built in the U.S.-Mexico border, along with Trump given access to billions of dollars in disaster relief for this project. The Supreme Court approved of a request uh, the administration styled as an emergency. The uh, court acted without a public hearing, without signed opinion, and over dissenting votes of four liberal judges. Um, as a result, the case is still on appeal to the Federal Appeals Court. The administration can now sign contracts for 100 miles of 30-foot-high steel wall in five locations where 
Congress prohibited construction using money that Congress refused to allocate for that purpose. The president wanted $5.7 billion to use to build to fortify a wall in 10 locations. Congress appropriated only $1.3 billion and specifically that the money was to be spent only in eastern Texas. This money is coming from the, uh, the, the additional money for this is coming from the Department of Defense totaling $2.5 billion. $224 million would be taken out of the blended retirement system, which goes into, into civilian for OK programs. Uh, for $604 million was supposed to go to support Afghanistan security forces. $251 million in Pentagon funds for destroying U.S. chemical weapons, and about $343 million spent from Air Force weapons programs where officials have negotiated reduction or canceled systems. Todd Har Harrison, Director of Defense Budget Analysis Program at the Center for Strategic and International Study, told the journal that while it is uncommon to shift funds um, um, among programs in the federal government, the size and method of the border wall transfers were unusual. All right, so those are some of the things that are happening. I have um, a video for you guys, and this is basically all the highlights that have been happening. If you uh, find us on our Facebook page, Missoula's Community Media Resource, you probably have been seeing this on our Facebook page. But on my show, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the highlights of the last uh, couple summer camps we've hosted here in the summer of 2019. I don't know why. I, well, I'm just trying to think of things to say, but without further ado, here's the highlights of all the summer camps that MCAT did. Nuggets are incomplete compared to tenders. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get that checked out. <laughs> We're the product, product, the best product in the whole wide world. Come on down and get some or else we'll sacrifice. What are your uh, thoughts about MCAT? It's really fun. Everything. What do you like about MCAT? Are you, are you that I'm not lonely anymore in this depressing life of waiting business. So we're going to have one round and each person is going to videotape a little bit only when they're making a quip or a joke or saying, Oh no, they're coming. <gasps> That's kind of clown. No! Well then, I guess it's all over now. Yay, I found the peak! I found the peak! No! want to make good lines, usually a lot of artists will flip over the paper and make the lines so that it's better. <laughs> Should be. Because lightning is the number one cause of forest fires. Like any Marine, he fought tooth and nail. He fought until he ran out of bullets. But the Marine behind him is a different story. How's your movie coming along? Good. Nice. Well, keep up the good work and just let me know if you need anything. Okay? Okay. What a jerk. Uh, I don't read lips. The world is a vampire. No!
been so better, and I can't even imagine how worse it's gonna get. Oh, oh my gosh, another dead body! Whoa, how did we get here? And where did we get these drinks? All right, boys, go! They're gone, aren't they? Dude, you're you're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stay here. This will be my last entry. If you find this journal, please remember my story. It's like they're starved for content. Hey guys, let's try this again. Movies are coming out this weekend, and it's time for some pre-critic. Pre-critic, movies that are coming out. Get swole, Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. We've reached the end game, folks. Fast and Furious have branched out to other movies, and this one has The Rock and Jason Statham, both heavy hitters in this fighty, fighty, punch, punch, and wink franchise, because if you've seen any of those action stars, they're very satirical, where in a way, uh, they, they know that they're in a ridiculous movie, and they want you to know that they know. That's what makes these movies so great. Anyways, there's plenty of action and dry wit to keep you spending money on these fast cars, hot women, hot women in fast cars, bulky guys, bulky guys in fast cars, extravaganza. Up next, we got a movie called Loose. This is a psychological thriller between a boy named Loose, um, who is an adopted uh, refugee child from Africa. Uh, he has a dark history and in the paper he writes that blah 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 uh the might is right and his teacher's like well i don't think the might is right i disagree with w what you're saying and i think you're kind of a sociopath and then the parents are just like well my the son's not crazy you're crazy and then there's battle witch blah 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 going back and forth and it kind of ends maybe with an inciting incident which like may implicate him in a crime but at the very end he gets away with it because he's the golden boy of the school and everyone's just kind of like eh, don't worry about it Cool. And then at the very end, he's like, winks at the camera, he's like, maybe I am evil. All right, moving on. Them that follows, snake worshippers. It's basically snake worshippers in a nutshell. If you get by a poisonous snake and survive, you're like, oh, that's godlike or chosen to continue. Blah, blah, blah. Cult stuff, blah, blah, blah. Someone trying to get out, but has to confront their demons metaphorically and physically as they navigate their lives and stuff like that. All right. So up next, we got some um, August... Ninth premiere dates kicking off with scary stories to tell in the dark. This movie is kind of like Goosebumps, where they stuff their intellectual property into one movie. The scary stories to tell, uh, to tell in the dark is a bunch of short scary stories. Um, so you, what do you do with this movie? You bring a bunch of unlikable teenagers. You unleash a curse, a curse, curse, a curse, and um, you basically get revenge on them. And there's a bunch of like glory kills or glory haunts or whatever. I don't know. It's just like one of those movies that just happens. Guillermo del Toro, uh, he's not directing these, uh, but he is uh, providing, um, I guess, his practical uh, effects kind of art management, so art design for this movie as well. Um, yeah, it's a driven horror based in the 80s book that came out um, of Your Worst Nightmares, you know, fairly uh, uh, sketch drawings of these horror characters. And then, yeah, it's basically, it's not associated with 80s movies such as uh, Nightmare on uh, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Child's Play, the one with Chucky. Uh, then we have uh, a comedy that follows Tiffany Haddish, Elizabeth Moth, and Elizabeth McCartney as single ladies trying to take over Hell's Kitchen. But it's not, actually, it's serious. This is a serious movie, folks. Um, I'm sorry, I could be confused easily because of the uh, past work of these uh, actresses. Enjoy this uh, movie that follows newly widowed women take back their streets only to, they, they, they only need, the only way they know how, illegally. So this organized crime follows a ty uh, g typical gender role tropes where it's like, women can't be crime lords. It's like, oh yeah, we are. And then they are, they are. And then of course, at the end, they always have to have that thing where crime doesn't pay. Unless you're uh, old. Because in a lot, a lot of those movies where the the, the, the characters like really old and senior citizens is like crime doesn't pay, but we're old. Nobody really thinks too much about us, and we'll get away with it anyways. Because those seems to be a really popular franchise of movies as well. Up next and final, we have Dora 
in the Lost City of Gold. Well, well, if you enjoyed those Nick Jr. shows and you've aged up, they've aged up the content with a young girl who goes to high school, meets some friends, and takes them on a journey, Goonies style, to uh, uh, kind of a central Mexico country where they have to find the Lost City of Gold. But the gold is the friendship they found along the way. And that's basically what you're going to get from this movie. All right. There you go. Those are those movies. Um, if you want to learn more uh, about Pre-Critic, uh, d- watch the show. <laughs> All right, so here's some uh, wonderful content you can watch right now. Dude, I, I heard like he's getting those like fat fat W's, dude. He he's killed seven people. Bad. People. Yeah, but I mean, Nature Guy is pretty cool. Nature Guy's uh, like, <laughs> dude. I mean, I can. When's he gonna drop his mixtape? Like, Nature I don't know. Guy. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I followed his SoundCloud, dude. He got like four tracks up. It's all ambient, like rainforest noises. It's kind of. I don't know. It's like it's not my cup of tea, but I'm waiting for that album to drop. Like, I mean. <laughs> It's all digital, though. It's good for the... It's nature, nature, man. It's, it's nature, nature, nature. environment. It's nature. It's the environment, you know, you know? Yeah. Uh, don't we... We know you from somewhere. You're a... You're, you're that nature guy. Yeah. The, the one from SoundCloud. Actually, I'm Nathan... Yeah, yeah, that's my name. Dude, Nathan guy. Dude, you related to, like, nature guy? Maybe. Dude. Check your out. Hear me out. I got, I got a theory about yeah. that Nathan guy. Okay, Nathan, Nathan. What, what letter? Does he Hello. Have? I am the destructor of the night. The feline. I'm feline. Pretty good. I'm the cat of finesse. I am Doctor Meow Meow. You got SoundCloud? So yeah, I've got a YouTube channel that just does a bunch of cats, but they're not allowed in my apartment. They're not my cats. They're not my videos. They're just not even players. That's kind of that's kind of clown. Like, yeah. that's a little sus. That's a little. Like, that's kind of. Drop like, a mixtape. We'll talk. Drop then. a mix. Okay, when you drop a mixtape, we'll talk when you drop a mixtape. Okay, and tell them, I'ma leave you alone. Mixtape, give us a call. Get, get us a mixtape. Like put it onto a cassette tape. Okay. Ma- ma- mail it, or you know, mail it use the free. internet. It's use the. Put that, bring Push that the on the disc, bring that wave yep. file, you know, we'll talk to you. I, I know some people, okay? Yeah. My cousin, okay, he's got like a, he's, you heard of Logic? I'm gonna go get some water. Alright, you didn't need to tell me that, just go get water. Go get, that's what, that's what I'm get, gonna do. Get out! Okay. Get out! You know what? Okay, I'm gonna go get a water. You know what? Cups are bad for the environment. I'm gonna go with the drinking
I will help you with your friend. Because of your crimes against nature, I cannot let you live. <laughs> You are trapped. Nobody can move when a cat is asleep on their lap. Curse you. When Nature Guy gets here, you're going to get kicked and punched probably and die because he's killed seven people. That's not, that, like, that's a little concerning. Your precious Nature Guy won't save you now. I haven't littered or anything like that in my entire existence. Oh, no. Uh, what are you doing? I was recycling. I'm gonna recycle this now. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finally! I'm free! Thanks, thanks a ton, nature guy. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> uh, it's time to tell you guys a little bit more about what's happening with MCAT uh, before I jump into uh, uh, your dub and stuff video of the week. Uh, if you go to MCAT.org, MCAT.org is your local resource for everything MCAT. You can put up programs, you can ask us to do a program as well. Um, if you are representative of a nonprofit, we can give you a deal. It's usually about $50 per program, but if you want to work on a series, it's $100, and that's basically a series that is limited to up to 12 episodes. So it's a pretty good deal, $100 for 12 episodes of your video. And you all you gotta do is go to How Do I Request Event Recording, um, if you already have a program, you can submit a program and you can run it on our channel and video on demand, channel 189 and or 190 if you're a civic government entity that is uh, locally here in Missoula. Like I said before, uh, a long time ago, is that MCAT's future home is going to be the new public library. And here is the image of the finished library. Uh, as you can see in this particular corner right here, if you were to look a little bit further up into the back corner of that, that's where MCAT's going to be housed. Um, it's going to be a beautiful uh, place as well. But if you look at it right now, if you click on it, it'll show you the current view of the library. Ta-da! There's the M. Uh, this is uh, basically the uh, side of the library. There's the uh, 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 this is uh, MCT Center for Performing Arts. It's directly across the street, and this is where the main entrance is going to be uh, conveniently located on Main Street. Mm -hmm. All right, so <laughs> and we're located basically in the back corner from this view right here, the back right corner. So that's where we're going to be in the new library. All right, guys, I have a, a video for you guys. It's a dub and stuff. It's movies called West of Hot Dog. Stagecoach. Come on, let's get going. Whoa, hold up there now. You might want to look away. <laughs> but I was listening. All right, in there. Time to get on up and out of here. Yep, okay, that was one. Uh, two. Uh, how you doing? Uh, come on, come on down. Um, excuse me, is this going to take long? <laughs> I'll just uh, exit out this oh, door. Oh, no, you don't. You're coming out this way. Come no. on now. Come, please, come on. Please, please, stop. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. All right, you better get out of here. Count of one, Boing. two. <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. Whoa. All right, now this is a robbery. Oh no, jeez. Oh, I, I, I can't put my hands up. Well, you're gonna have to try. This is a belt layering community, not for. Aha! Uh -huh. I gotta look at your face. Oh, let me see. Uh, do you nah, have like I'm gonna have to kill you now. No, you, yeah, you saw my face. Oh, oh, I have a good idea. How about I just go sit down? Well. Uh, Okay, Here we go. you can sit down. Much Doesn't better matter. now. Oh, you're giving me the tickles. Stop it. Oh, uh, no, this ain't no laughing matter. Stop, Stop laughing. Stop it. Oh, oh, oh. yes. Oh, oh. Excuse me over there. Can we uh, move this along? It's about foot o'clock. Hmm, so it's like tea time? Uh, so, darling, you want to hear a joke? Oh, God, no, please stop. Oh, come on, it's funny. Oh, God. 
If only I know any good jokes. Oh, oh wait, maybe I do. I must save her with my joke. Doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. Hey, two dogs walk into a brook. Yeah. Well, um. Go on now. Uh, it's just they. Oh, okay. Let me check. Um, yeah. You see this? Just pretend my joke is funny, okay? Did he just bribe you? Oh, oh no. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Well, our robbery's done. Come on, let's get going. Doop a doop a doop a doop. Let's uh, get on our horses and get on up on And I here. was here to help, wasn't I? <laughs> See you later, losers. So, uh, you like Parcheesis? Uh, perhaps we can go down to the next town and no, we could, don't uh, touch you me. know, have... I'm a lady. Uh, oh, okay, I guess. I guess I'll just, um, I'll drive the stagecoach. Uh, okay, let's do this thing. Whew, I got this. I got this. <clears throat> okay, here's some real things. Put it down here. Put it right here. Put it right around here. And other things. And blah blah blah. Scoopity boop boop boop. And go. Come on. Go now. Oh. Oh. Oh man. Oh. Oh. My back. My everything. Whew. Where my sleeves go? Oh well, better go sit down. Oh! Sweet. All right, and that was from the 1924 silent film West of Hot Dog. So basically, it was basically a stagecoach robbery. They were taking one of the guys that are in the stagecoach and leaving the rest to kind of stick it out, basically rough it out. Um, I don't know too much about the movie, but you can always look it up on archive.org where I get all my um, dub and stuff videos from as well. All right, let's talk a little bit more about uh, some new programs. Uh, as you can see right here, I got another uh, over the shoulder. And we're going to talk about some of the art that's going to be kicking off this weekend. Um, this is first Friday, and of course this art goes on through the whole month of August, so if you're watching this later date and you missed out on first Friday, it doesn't matter. These are all the arts that are going to be happening all month long at these following places. Um, the Expanded Abstract Imagery, Steve Michaels Art, Murphy Dub Gallery. <laughs> Steve Michaels continues photographic images that brings truly unique form of art with the ability to provoke the imagination in new ways, light abstractions is a significant departure from traditional art and an exciting journey into the world of light and color. Next, we got uh, Radius Gallery, August 1st Friday with Jared Shear. Uh, another just little side note for you guys is that Radius Gallery will be moving into the um, Uptown Diner former location, which is by the new Mercantile. Um, they're going to be building uh, for the next uh, uh, six months or so going to finish it up, and then Radius Gallery is going to move up there on the storefront off of Higgins Street. Uh, uh, so f this is Jared Shear. Uh, they're doing um, in plain air process as he paints outside the gallery space in East Main Street. Shear's work in the current exhibit, Another Alphabet, are a uh, product of his days painting the landscapes, and, uh, uh, landscapes observed during his backpacking expeditions. <laughs> Daphne Sweet is doing um, a program called Oh Hey! Um, you know what time of the month it is? First Friday. Super duper stoked to have Daphne Sweet hanging out at the General Public, which is a art gallery. Uh, come browse some of the new artwork, prints, and following objects like painted baby uh, shrubs. They'll have raffling Daphne Sweet, uh, the General Public hand-painted hand crop top. Then we got the Teal uh, Weibel, uh, headlined uh, by Teal. Uh, this installation features the work by Teal and speaks to the human involvement with landscape in a direct way. And this is going to be at the Frontier Space. F we have Jack Boyd. Jack Boyd is going to be at the Dram Shop. Intrigued by the surface of sensory tension between replication and progression, Boyd's assemblance uh, sculptures revitalized often technological uh, Ephraimah, uh, Ephraimah, sorry, I'm just like horrible with words, they just, yeah, anyways, have recently trained their interest on manipulating the icons and tropes of the art of the American West. Boyd's work can be found in various establishments within Missoula, as well as private collections throughout the, uh, the country. The pictures are all a pack of cigarettes in the shape of the United States flag. Typex, um, 
tip tricks, sorry about that, uh, uh, small studies and in paint and uh, print, Sarah Angst will be, uh, uh, is from Bozeman, an artist, is presenting her exhibit in Missoula in the Four Ravens Gallery from August. Um, Angst's newest work will be on display in the show called Tipper's Small Studies in Paint and Print. The show offers a unique and affordable opportunity to see or own one of Angst places in the uh, charming display. Uh, Four Ravens is more of an art gallery where they have uh, affordable art, beautiful things made by local artists. Uh, the exhibit embodies many of the themes Angst has dreamt of working on for years, including landscape butterflies and sailboats. You can check that out kicking off tonight at the Four Ravens. We got the Mandals of Darshan Pulse. This month we'll be featuring a visionary a Mandalas of Missoula-based Buddhist rock legends, a Darshan Pulse. Stop by for some great company, great art, and great times. It's going to be at Gecko Designs, which is right next to Pie Hole, and Iron Horse. We got Shirley Robinson and uh, Jessica Mintel. Uh, Shirley's beautiful creations are very complex. Creates these collages of cattle ma markers and watercolor painted, cutting them into pieces, assembled into layers, images, and then added a variety of materials adorned each item to such as feathers, leaves, grasses, and porcupine quills. Each brightly colored, whimsical image tells a story and is often a reflection of Shirley's own personal struggles and triumphs. Finally, wrapping things up for uh, new art that's hitting Missoula is Courtney Blazon at Frame of Mind. Join at the Frame of Mind where they'll be featuring 20 of Courtney Blazon's completed Broctagon poem drawings. These never-before-seen never before prints will be on display for the public's viewing for the first time in m for the month of August. Frame of Mind will also be showcasing a portion of the private collection of Courtney Blazon's original works provided by one of Courtney Blazon's collectors, Anya Vasquez. Enjoy the entirely... In um, Enjoy Courtney's new line, as well as never-before-seen originals, inspired of the poetry of Richard Brotigan, an American writer born in Tacoma, Washington in 1935, who rose to international fame in 1967 with his novel Trout Fishing in America. Uh, written in his adopted home of San Francisco, he was considered a symbol of a uh, symbol of a uh, counterculture youth movement. Corny Blazon drawings are in intricate narratives that are layered with sim symbolism and meaning, in particular issues with surrounding women and the tales, uh, coming of age, um, humor, irony, and symbolism to create involved stories that are uh, woven together that are not always what they appear to be at first glance. And if you guys want to check out some of her art, her art is heavily featured at the uh, Power Box by the light of uh, the Alcazador in the downtown Missoula area. She utilized the Power Box along with the, the Power Pole um, for the street light. And you can check it out anytime downtown Missoula. All right, so there's a bunch of the art stuff that are happening in and around the Missoula, but let's talk about some of the programs that are going to be happening on MCAT. These are all brand new programs that are going to be airing on MCAT. Uh, lectures, um, discussions, and performances that MCAT does, and if you're interested, you can always give us a call at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT for more information. You can also go on to MCAT.org. So without further ado, here are some of the new programs that will be airing on MCAT, and when I come back, I'm going to wrap up the show. Currently, we have uh, this month 1,396 people on our Section 8 waiting list. That's one of the waiting lists for these. Each program will have its own waiting list, and the wait times are always calculated in years. Um, and these federal funds um, are not growing. They're very, very hard to get additional ones. Um, and we get them maybe one or two if we can. Um, so then we also have another source, and this is really what the name of the game is in development. This is the kind of stuff that uh, Homer does and that MHA does. This is the kind of stuff that Lori is talking about. And I refer to them as rent restricted, right? As Lori explained, there's a cap on the rent. Now, the, the tenant will pay whatever that cap is. So if it's $600, you owe $600. And if you lose your job, you still owe $600. It's not 30% of your income. It's just 30% of your income if you are working at that 1150. So if you got 850, it's probably going to be a struggle, but it's better than, than uh, the average rent, right? So these are rent-restricted, rent and so I calculated these are going to be a little bit low. I probably missed a couple of little projects. But we have right now about 896. I can't imagine all those years ago when we met him in New York City. Charlie and Will, no one knew who either of them were, and they had no idea they would become so famous. Will used to say that he was trying to sell a few stories, a few rope tricks for vaudeville, and that Charlie was trying to sell a few paintings. But he had that wrong. I was trying to sell a few paintings, and Charlie was trying not to get lost in New York City. 
He never liked New York. He called it the, the big camp with the tall teepees. And he was always trying not to get lost in New York. Oh, who would have thought a girl coming from where I came from would end up trotting in double harness with Charles M. Russell and that would work together to leave his legacy of art and stories. I know people criticize me for holding out on my prices for Charlie's work like I do. But there never will be any more Russell art. Um, you're about to find out why I went into print journalism and not broadcast because <laughs> the spoken word is not nearly as effective uh, for me as the written one. However, I'll give it a shot. Um, so the plan is I'm going to talk about ethics for a bit, but then I want to open it up to a discussion because I think that there are lots of issues that are related to ethics. There are lots of really tricky bits, um, but I will warn you in advance once I get through the first part, there is a quiz, so stay awake. So what makes a good story? So we've all heard stories, some funny, some sad, some really amazing, some terrible, um, some that leave lasting impressions on us. So I'd like to ask you all right now just to take a few seconds and write down, or even just think if you don't have pen and paper, of the last good story you heard and if you can remember it, that's a good start. Uh, write down a few of the details as best you can remember as to why you thought it was such a good story. Hey guys, welcome back. All those wonderful programs and more, you can log on to MCAT.org. MCAT.org is your local resource for everything local program. Um, you go to the website, you click on channel 189, it brings you to this page, and it kind of shows you the most recent uh, updates on our uh, video on demand. You can watch uh, sermons from St. Lutheran Church. Some people have a hard time getting out and about. You get to see our 2019 zombie camp. You get to see uh, more uh, provost uh, student success. So this is for vice provost. You also have the MCAT summer camp from Animation 2. Summer is a usually slow month. Uh, you get to see my show, Wake Up Missoula, as well. And then there's uh, winning wellness, making through most of every step. Um, Missoula walkabout, all sorts of wonderful programs. All you got to do is click on one of these programs as well. You click on play. I'll mute it for you guys, and you can literally scope through and kind of see what everyone's talking all about. And it, it is a wonderful resource. You know, you can see some of um, your city officials, County Democrats, City Candidates Forum. Um, just on how HUD allocates funding to entitlement communities. All right. So, yeah, there. Ooh, wonderful programs that are <laughs> on MCAT as well. Just uh, a bunch of random stuff that you can watch on our channels. Um, again, it's MCAT.org. All that information is widely available for anybody who is interested in learning more about that as well. Summer camps have wrapped up. I'm sad to say it's uh, Boys and Girls Club are happening um, here at MCAT for the next two weeks. Uh, from Tuesday through Thursday from 1 to 3 p.m., Boys and Girls Club will be coming down here. Um, so that might affect some of the public that come in here. But we are uh, widely open from 11 to 5 p.m. Um, Tuesday through Friday for anybody who wants to come down here and make a program, be, get help making a program, start a program. You know, we're always looking for help um, for any programs and stuff like that, uh, any additional support we can do. Um, maybe a, 
an audio mixer would be nice <laughs> just to make sure that our audio is on but that's nor here nor there um but i just want to say uh thank you guys for joining me and for wake up missoula i'm scott ramp see you